So now, you might have already sent your Christmas wish list to Santa, but have you thought about what your pet might like to find under the tree this year? Well, our vet, Scott Miller, is here now with his bit, mm, pick that? of the best gifts, uh, and he's brought some uh, some animal companions and as well. And this is your this Scully. Is a little gorgeous. Scully, my oh, little so Christmas pom-pom. Look at her, the little beautiful. Christmas jumper on as well. She looks very smart. It's a bit chilly, so, you know, you've got to get a little jumper for your doggies. But look, there's lots of great presents out there um, on the market. Um, so let's start, first things first, uh, exercising at Christmas time. It's always really important to make sure that they do burn off some of that excess energy. We all put on a little bit of extra weight. Okay. Um, and so we do need to get the pets out as well. Yeah. This, uh, you might like to demonstrate, Phil, um, is a Nerf Dobbs stopper. Oh, that's brilliant. Stomper. So basically it will jettison a ball. Now really go for it. Give it a bit of welly. Whee! Whoa! Nicely done. So it can go up to 75 foot yeah. um, and it can allow your dog to be running around and it just means it saves your, your um, elbow from a bit of tennis elbow there. That's so, good. Uh, 20, uh, 12 dollars from Amazon. Um, Fred and Ginger uh, mince pies. Not made from uh, normal mince because actually raisins are toxic to dogs. So um, a lot of other ingredients there. And also I would just say there's a lot of... Christmas treats on the market for pets, but always just make sure that your dog's not intolerant to things because the last thing you need is, is a diarrhea ring dog on Christmas Day. Oh, no, I mean, that so really is the last thing you out, need. Don't give it. But on look, any day, it's not good. Well, pretty much, exactly. <laughs> uh, Fred oh, and Ginger okay. dog mince pies, £4.50 from uh, John Lewis. Uh, this is a Christmas Tales dog stocking from Pets at Home. Eight quid, lots of different things in there. Again, sort of marrow bone, so it is a protein based thing. So, again, if your dog has like inflammatory bowel disease or dietary sensitivity, probably avoid it. But there's even little uh, yeah. chewy Santa in there for them to play with as well. Now, I really love this. Um, whenever um, I have kids' parties and they have um, bubbles, the dog goes nuts. Goes crazy. Absolutely loves them. Is Scully going to go nuts if you do this? She might do. Can I put her down so have she can look. see? Yeah, see do you want to get that's, uh, And that's safe <laughs> detergent for them. Yes, so this is safe for pets. Uh, but also it can come in peanut butter and no. bacon flavour. Oh, bubbles, mind that just, myself, actually. Just in case, yeah. Well, uh, she's just coming to find you. She doesn't like it. You don't like that? No, she's not keen. <laughs> but, but that is, uh, yeah, Bubble Dog, Bubble Gun, seven ninety nine from Pet Planet. Love this. This is a personalised dog book that I would say would be perfect for any dog lover that you might know. So yeah. this one has got Alice Beer's dog Stanley on uh, it, miniature schnauzer. And it's like a Where's Wally book. It's so, they so make little, brilliant, that. What idea. a lovely idea. Make a little emoji of your dog and then they hide them in the pages, just kind of like a, a Where's Wally book would be normally. It's so good, that. So cute, Love isn't it? that, yeah. So I think, you know, that's a, that's a very cheap little um, stocking filler there. Uh, $14.99 from Yappy. Lovely. Right. So, moving on to cats, um, we have cat advent calendar here. Oh. Um, again, cats have issues with dietary upset, so just be careful on that front. Um, but that is a perfect little um, gift for uh, Christmas for, uh, for cats. That's so uh, cute. Five pounds from Lily's Kitchen. Now, I absolutely love this. This is um, a Surefeed microchip feeder. Now, um, Holly, if you want to grab the little kitten and just pop it in here. So I've microchipped this kitten. So you see, then it opens up. <gasps> Keeps to allows them fresh. to eat. Yes, yeah, so uh, $119.99 is this one. Um, it, there are cheaper ones um, that are present at Surefeed, uh, surepetcare.com. Um, this one will then close, hopefully, on its own. Now. But this is quite so good if you've got two away. cats and one of them's greedier than the other. Exactly right. So or if, other, if other, uh, other people's cats come Interlopers in. Interlopers and... come in, exactly. So it helps just to um, stop other cats from getting in. Um, and if there you've go. got, there, there you go. So goes. if you've got two cats and one of them's uh, a little bit chubbier, yeah. then you use it on the Yelena cat and then the chubby one can't push them out and, and get the food. So good, it works isn't very it? well. Um, and there's a little hub that goes with it as well, which means that when they do eat, um, this one actually weighs the amount of food that they've eaten and then will send a message to your phone via an app. Wow, there you that go. is clever. Yes. What's going on here? So, uh, oh, that's a little uh, dog toy there, another sort of a treat and toy um, related product there. Just shove could them you in put, there. So you could put treats inside? Treats in there and then they pull them out and then consume them. That's it. Mm. Exactly. Mm, uh, moving on to small animals. Now, who knew that guinea pigs like the circus? You kind of imagine physically. No, you didn't know, know that. Does it, does it say trapeze artist? Not really. Sort of <laughs> big and short little legs. But regardless, um, there is a guinea pig circus. A full set, 101 pounds uh, from hay pigs. Now, that's probably worth about three guinea pigs. But say, if you really want to go to town on your guinea pigs, are there guinea um, pigs in here? There are some little guinea pigs in here. Oh, they're hiding. Say, oh, there's, there's one behind are. here, behind the cannon. There you are. So Always have to be really careful when we no Scully. Let's say hi to the guinea pig. There we are go. They, um, do you like do you like the circus? Get bitten a lot as a vet. Can I ask you? Because I'm always quite bitten scared to pick up a, a on, a, on a regular basis. And you don't mind that? Well, we just get better at moving faster and getting away from them. Getting but yes, away, so yeah. You'll never be a hand model and be a vet. Right. Okay. That would yeah. be yeah. probably a good rule. So you've got uh, so you've got the 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 
cannon there? Yes. Um, so um, that, that's just for them to play in. Tilting tunnels. Yes. There's a little hay hopper as well. You can see that we've got the big top there. Um, there might be a guinea pig in bowls, there. Bowls. You've got loads of different things in here. Also with bunny rabbits. Owners of rabbits are so cute and generally have such a close and affectionate relationship, particularly house bunnies, because they live in close quarters mm. with their owners. Um, lots of great little um, treats and toys in this one, which is the Happy Bunny Christmas Box. Um, Christmas-themed um, gift box with all the, the bunny treats you might like, things to chew, That's to play This looks with. like potpourri. It does. <laughs> but that's a little nice, <laughs> The rabbit can have a little munch. Season them, it's for, yes, it's for them to eat and to enjoy. Um, but actually, the Honey uh, Happy Bunny Club actually provides a monthly subscription. So if you if you knew someone that absolutely adored their rabbit, then you can actually get them sent a uh, little package of rabbit goodies for £19 every month. Um, a lovely little treat. And these little bits down here? Uh, just more, more chews and, yeah, there's What's so that, many Scully? things. What's that, Oh, she's oh I don't know whose tape measure that is. <laughs> State measure? Just, just there. That, uh, I think that might belong to the team. Just been left, you chew it, that's though. been left on there by the team. <laughs> the tape measure. I thought, what's Christmas that got to do with pets? Not what's really this? much at all. Now, look. Um, oh, uh, higher. Now, I am not suggesting that anyone out there should just go, hey, I know what we'll do, is we'll get our children a horse. Um, because if my um, kids saw that, then I would have to get one immediately. <laughs> um, so this is uh, Tony, looked after by Hannah. Now, Tony... Tony, Tony the Pony. pony. So he, it was Tony the Pony who was in Big Brother with Gemma Collins. Exactly. So this is Tony the Pony from Living Things, and he's actually also been here for your birthday. That's dressed right. As a unicorn. I remember. Yeah. I remember. Yeah. So, <laughs> so he's, Tony he's really is, is a pony, really. A bit. He's a unicorn. Now he's a reindeer. <laughs> I can't wait to see the Easter yeah. outfit. Brilliant. Yeah, I mean, so so what today, is he? Wh he's a miniature Shetland pony day right. to day, he's but so cool. today he's. Yeah. What's he something. wearing? So he is awesome. wearing a. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> guess what? A reindeer Scully. outfit. I love a reindeer. A reindeer um, uh, horns there. A reindeer. Um, yes, antlers. Um, and uh, it's what's so cute about this business. Discount Equestrian. It's only thirty pounds. Is that um, the company? It's a very small family-run business, and their eighty-four-year-old dad were, um, it had his birthday just recently, but still went in and worked to package all the products to make sure they go out for um, our Yuletide ponies right. at Christmas time. Oh, you didn't, uh, you didn't mention, uh, mention this one down oh, here. Yes, absolutely. This so, is really nice. I love yeah, that you so your name. Yes, so this is from my first years. <laughs> it's a personalised grey teepee. We can see that um, our pet here is called Philip. Um, and this is the, the winter version of the, um, of the pillow. And then you can actually flip it around for sort of the summer months as it's well. It's really nice we looking, had, uh, this. We had our This Morning Christmas party last night which got a little on the messy time. So do you right. want to do that? Yeah, I'll do this. You have a little there lie down go. in the doghouse. It's <laughs> your pet sorted. But if you're still on the hunt for the perfect gift for your loved one, Steve Wilson is here later with his best pick of Christmas gadgets. First, though, it's time to get your local weather forecast. <laughs> what are you doing?